In today's video, we're talking about how to focus manually on a gimbal. Today, I'm using the new anamorphic lens from Suray, the 24 millimeter, and I'm using the Juin Crane 2S gimbal with its new follow focus gear motor system. First things first, you need to have the proper settings. And by proper settings, I mean focus peaking. Focus peaking and digital zooms are two great ways on how to double check your focus. Focus peaking will highlight the edges of your subjects that are in focus, either in yellow, red, or even green, depending on the camera that you're using. Today, I'm using the Sony a7S III. To set your focus peaking settings, go within the menu, then go to the autofocus slash manual focus settings and set your peaking mode to on. Then set it to high. On high, your focus peaking will be more sensitive and you will see more of that outline on the subjects that are in focus. And if you wanna quickly access the focus peaking settings, you can always press the FN or function button on your camera too. When it comes down to setting up your follow focus motor on your Crane 2S gimbal, just simply put it together by taking the rail and mounting system, attach them together, and then take the thumb screw and attach it to the bottom of the quick release plate on the gimbal. Now slide on the focus motor, secure it, and make sure the sprockets line up. Once the focus motor has been secured on the rail system, then connect the USB-C cable from the motor going into the gimbal. Of course, when you add on accessories onto your gimbal, you need to rebalance it. If you need help on balancing your gimbal, check out this video right here. Now this is a new focusing motor for the Crane 2S. There's generation one and generation two. This is the generation two version. So what's so new? Well, it's more accurate and more sensitive to the focus wheel or focus dial on your gimbal. It also has an automatic calibration option, which generates digital hard stops so that way you can't over torque your lens. So if you are looking for a new follow focus motor for your gimbal, check out the link down below on where you can pick up this new smart motor. Now keep this in mind, different lenses have different ways of pulling focus. First of all, the focusing distance on each individual lens is completely different. So you have to get used to that first of all. Second of all, you have to understand that the focus ring on your lens is spaced out differently depending on the distance. I know that sounds a little bit confusing, but throughout this video, I'll explain how. Even for me, it takes a lot of practice studying a new lens and how it manually pulls focus. So now let me show you how I practice pulling focus on my gimbal. All right, so here we are with the beautiful Golan. Say hi. Hi. Now, are you in focus or not? Well, most likely not, but we're gonna fix that. Today we are using the new anamorphic lens from Sirui or Sure, however you wanna call it. And this is an anamorphic lens, as I mentioned, and that's gonna give us some really cool flares, but we're not gonna be talking too much about the lens today. Instead, we're gonna be talking about focusing with the gimbal. So, one of the things that I recommend you get when you're focusing with the gimbal is a follow focus. That's what this little thing is right here with the motor and the gear. It's a must because if you use your hand on the lens, you're gonna to be touching the camera. It's gonna be bouncing up and down. You're not gonna get the shots that you want, especially when it comes down to stability. I'm already out of breath. So as you can see right here, the fall focus will change as I move the dial on the side of the gimbal here. It's gonna move the gear. Things are gonna be in and out of focus. So right now what I'm gonna ask Golan to do is just to stay in a spot, just have her stay. Then we're gonna go over some walking shots and how I focus while our talent is walking. First thing you gotta do, turn on focus peaking on your camera. Uh, I'm using the Sony a7S III right now. Focus peaking is definitely gonna help you out. It's gonna outline the subjects of your frame that are in focus. And you can use the digital zoom in. That's another great tool. So that's what I have turned on right now. And what I'm doing right now is I'm actually gauging my focus. I wanna see how close I can get to Golan before she just stops being in focus. And that's what we call the focusing distance. So get used to that first. After you've gotten used to that and you know your focusing distance, on this lens I believe it's, what is it? Two feet. So I know off the bat that I can't get any closer than two feet to Golan, otherwise we just won't be in focus. So here's Golan, I'm gonna try and get my focus here using focus peaking, there you go. Right now, her hands and her cheeks are in focus. They're highlighted in red. And now that she's just standing in one place, I'm gonna just try and do some orbit shots around Golan. I'm not gonna move 
anywhere. I'm not gonna change the radius of the circle just so I can keep the focus exactly the same. As soon as we start moving around and changing the distance between the camera and the talent, that's when the focus is gonna change and we have to learn how to compensate for that. Very nice. Cool. I'm already out of breath. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a walking shot. So I'm gonna have Golan walk towards the camera and I'm gonna be backing up. Now this is really important, okay? This is really important. You wanna make sure that your subject stays walking at the same exact pace. She doesn't get closer or farther away from the camera because then you're just gonna lose focus, okay? So right now I'm gonna stay about, what is this, four feet, five feet away from Golan. I'm gonna focus on her face. The edges of her body are in focus. So I'm gonna stick with that. And then I'm gonna ask Golan to just walk forward, staying at a decent slow pace so that way I can keep equidistant away from her the whole entire shot. All right, Golan, you ready? And action, nice and slow. Very nice. Very nice, isn't she beautiful? She's single, guys. <laughs> She's single. I'll leave her phone number down below in the description box. <laughs> very, very pretty. Okay, slow down just a little bit for me. So this next shot, we're gonna be changing the focus. So Golan's gonna be walking faster. She's gonna be walking slower. So I'm gonna start off with a full body shot. I'm gonna back out in just a moment. And the best thing that you can do with a manual lens, especially one that's on a gimbal, is just look at the focusing marks on the lens and get used to the focusing distance. For example, right now I'm at two and a half feet. You know, kind of gauge your focus or kind of gauge your distance, okay? It's really good to practice and to actually try and guess how many feet you're away from your subject because that's gonna help you out with your focus. So right now I would say I'm about four feet away from Golan. So I'm gonna set my focus to four feet and guess what? Her face is red, which means she's in focus. So that's four feet. I'm gonna back up to a full body shot. Okay, I'm gonna drop the gimbal just a little bit. Wow, Golan, you are so thin in this anamorphic. All right, so I think I'm about 10 feet away from Golan. So I'm gonna go to the 10 foot mark. And yes, I'm right. She's covered in red edges. So this is great. So Golan, I'm gonna ask you to go ahead and walk forward and as she gets closer to me, I am going to start adjusting my focus so that it goes to uh, a closer focusing distance. All right, Golan, go ahead and start walk walking towards me, please. Yeah, I'm not walking. Nice, very cool. So I can do better. Um, I didn't get the whole entire focusing in there. I didn't move the, the fall focus fast enough, so. Let's try that again. And each lens is different, guys. The markings are spaced out differently on each lens, each manual lens that you use. So I'm not used to this lens so much, so it does take a little bit of practice. So I just set the focus peaking sensitivity to high. So now Golan's eyes are red and that's what I want because the eyes are a great way to judge focus. Great, okay. Golan, I'm actually gonna back out this time because I know you're in heels and it's, yeah, the rocks are behind me, I know. Uh, so I'm gonna back out and we'll see how I do with gauging focus. Good luck, sir. Thank you very much, here we go. And backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up, backing up. Oh yes, yes, look at that. She's in focus, guys. All right, now let's go back, okay. You really have to get used to like the speed of your walk and the speed of how fast you turn the fall of focus. Cause that's what's gonna really make or break your shot whenever you're adjusting focus at the same time as, uh, as, as walking in or walking out. All right, so now let's go ahead and do a walking shot and let's see how I can be adjusting focus and uh, going around Golan. So Golan, a nice slow pace, okay? That's really important. Action. A little bit slower if you can. All right, let's actually, can I have you just walk over here? Right there, that's it, okay. Remember, when you drop exposure, guys, that's another tip. More things will be in focus. Or 
When you drop your f-stop, I mean. Okay. And go ahead and walk for me. Action. Nice. Very nice. Good, now we see my shadow. And ready? Action. All right, so we're gonna finish up the shot with uh, Golan moving towards the sun. Again, really good idea if uh, you increase that f-stop number, not only for exposure's sake, but uh, it keeps more of your shot in focus. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Golan, go ahead and walk towards the sun for me. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Very pretty. A little bit slower if you can. Good. <laughs> Good, and I'm using my viewfinder just so I can see more of the shot. There's a really ugly glare on my monitor, so I'm using the viewfinder to just block out the sun. So let's try it one more time. And if you notice, I'm subtly turning, very subtly turning the focus dial. You can't even notice. All right, I'm following you. Also notice which direction turns the fall focus, which way. So, back. Farther, closer, okay. Ready, and hold it, and action, nice and slow. <laughs> nice, one more time, <laughs> and action. Nice, good. All right guys, I hope this video has helped you out. Oh, I'm sore. And that just about does it. And don't forget that I'll link every single piece of equipment that I used in today's video down below in the description box. All right, I'll see you in another video. Peace. Mm -hmm.